Hi, she was sipping. I'm back. Okay, so I have had a lot of people in my comments, especially guys, and I've seen a lot of posts, and like I've seen a lot of older men start to apologize for the younger men and how they're treating women. And then I see a lot of the older men who are also taking up for the younger men, saying they understand. Um, and the, the funny thing is, none of these men have money. Okay, none of these men are successful in life as far as being financially stable enough to have a family and a wife. Um, so I'm not really going to like bash them because you know, not everyone is meant to be successful, not everyone is meant to have money, not everyone is meant to be you know what they wish they could be. So I'm not going to bash them for not having money and being broke. No, I'm not going to do that. But the only thing that I'm upset about is that they are acting like they deserve the same treatment and the same respect as a man who has busted his ass to get to where he wants to go so he can have a family, so he can support a woman, so he can feel comfortable in respecting a woman because he doesn't feel inferior to her because she's making more money than him. I am commending those guys who don't sit on Facebook and troll uh, women's videos for wanting uh, to have a decent life. Um, in many other cultures, it's common for a woman to want to marry a successful man. I mean, who wants to marry someone who's not successful, especially, you know, a man? You know, no woman wakes up and say, oh, I want a broke man. Oh, yes, that's my dream. No, okay, no woman does that. Uh, women settle, okay? If you're broke and you have a woman, she settled for you, okay? If you if you have your hand out at bill time, that woman settled for you. You're not what she really wanted, okay? And even though you might have a good life and you're, you know, you're happy for the moment and things are good, you're still not her number one choice that she wished that she could have been with. And that's just the honest truth. I'm just telling y'all, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Okay. Um, and y'all could beat me up for it if y'all want, but that's just honest. That's just being honest. Just like no man, uh, gets up and say, Hey, I want to marry this, an ugly chick. Or I want to marry someone who has uh, 10 kids and ugly and on, you know, and, can't do any better so she chooses me no man wants that but they settle for it and the reason why people settle for things and I'm gonna tell y'all why it's because they're too lazy to work and get what they want okay now a man can say oh women are lazy that's why they want to depend on it but it takes work to land a rich man okay that's work if if that was easy work, every woman would have a, witch, or a man with money to take care of them. If that was easy work, every woman would have what they wanted or at least, you know, some of what they wanted. That's not easy work. That takes mentalism. That takes cleverness. That takes, oh my God, that takes time. It takes effort into put, you know, into what you uh, say to this person how much time you spend with them, what you put in their head, how you look, how you approach them, how you speak to them, how you do things in your own life because you know they're paying attention. That takes a lot of effort, okay? But only certain women can do that, just like only certain men will be successful. There are morals put in place by society to keep men at a certain level and to keep women settling for certain things if you can break outside of the box for a moment and understand that you can have whatever you like if you set down a couple of these society given morals and go for what you want in life okay uh, sometimes morals are just disguised for control mechanisms okay so uh, some people do not consider certain morals so therefore it's easier for them to become successful in life and therefore it's easier for a woman to get a man with money because they're not looking at what this other lady here is looking at now I saw this meme on Facebook and it said 
all the good girls are sing are, are somewhere single and uh, all the hoes and sluts are happily married and living large okay and if you look around that's sadly true you're going to see more women who you would look down on and say oh they're gold diggers oh they're whores or they're this but they're happily married and living large why because it takes brains and hustle to land a man like that and rich men want certain type of women okay they're not looking for that homely you know do good morally correct boring good you know good girl okay they're looking for excitement they can have any woman they want okay they can have any woman they want they're looking for excitement thrills action uh, they they're looking for women other men want okay they're not looking for this certain type of woman and if they are it's only because they're trying to settle okay they're trying to settle down and then usually when they land that nice good woman they go and cheat with the type of woman they really wanted in the first place okay some men are selfish like that they'll say well you know what I need a wifey type material so that I can have kids with her and she can raise my kids right and they'll have a good mother but but you know I really want this type of woman so I'm gonna you know have a mistress on the side or I'm going to cheat on her and she'll never know anyway or blah blah blah, blah. because you know that's what I like and I can't help it because I'm I mean you know women put value on material things and comfort and security men put value on looks sex and availability okay that's just true um, so that's why you'll see a lot of like women who are married who you thought you know oh why did he marry her she's been with like all these guys and she's a slut she used to strip da, 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 da. but she's married to this rich guy now oh my gosh you know yeah because uh, rich guys you know they don't have time to, to play games they, they they know what what you are what you can do what you're about and they're just gonna say hey that's the kind of woman I want you know I'll give her uh, the lifestyle and you know she'll she'll have nice clothes she'll look you know elegant and stuff like that but underneath it all she's still the type of woman I want you know um, but sometimes you just want a normal relationship with a normal guy working nine to five you know have the the simple life and that's fine but if you're going to settle for uh, that type of life make sure your man has a career at least or at least going in the direction of a career not a lame job that he can lose at any time and can't get rehired somewhere else with quickness you need to find a man with a career don't settle for less than you actually deserve okay um, now this is for all levels of income you can be poor and happy with the guy as long as he's putting in his work okay um, you can be rich and happy with the guy you can be average and happy with the guy but don't don't ever think that just because you're good and moral and stuff like that that's how you got the guy because the guy can be tempted very easily and you can also understand why they're tempted and try to incorporate what he likes you know in your life you know you, you're supposed to grow together you're not supposed to stay the same so if you see him looking at this type of woman and you look opposite you know you might need to um say hey baby do you like that you know i can i can i, I can look better in that outfit than she could i bet you know challenge yourself to improve and to uh, appeal to your man because he's going to be looking no matter what okay uh, anyway I know like I know my husband he don't like when I wear the blonde wig he hates that wig okay that's why I don't hardly wear it you always see black hair he loves black hair black 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 okay that's why I always have black uh, okay anyway uh, <laughs> he doesn't like ratchet things okay so um, <laughs> it's funny he really don't he don't like ratchet things he gets offended when he sees me and my purple wig and my blonde wig. he's like oh why do you have that on it looks so trashy and I was like I like it I like it but you know that's his taste he doesn't like it but the funny thing is <laughs> the funny thing is you know what he likes you know don't don't find out the wrong way by catching him with somebody else um, anyway 
back on track. I gotta get back on track. Um, so yeah, don't let certain rules or morals in society hold you back from doing what you need to do. There's some girls out there who a lot of guys are putting this in the comment. Y'all don't look good enough to get a rich man. Like, why Why are you telling these girls lies? Like, some girls look a certain way and they'll never get treated like this. And they'll never get a rich man. And they'll never do this. But they feel like they can. Okay, well, when, you, when you're wanting something and you have any type of standards, it's better than having no standards, okay? So, if you have a not-so-beautiful girl who has all these standards... She's going to meet some of them at least, okay? She might not land a rich man, but she might land a financially stable man just from having the standards to get a rich man, you know? She might not ha get the, the uh, most handsomest man in the world, but she's not going to get somebody who's beneath her, you know? So even if I'm giving false hope to women who don't have certain looks and certain attitudes to get these type of men, they're still going to have standards and they're not going to accept what anybody is just bringing to them okay so that's that's my that's my take on that because you're right not every woman is going to attract a rich millionaire or a rich man but they can attract someone who's stable and has a career okay you know they how they say uh shoot for the stars and land on the moon it's kind of like that okay yes i'm going to build their confidence yes i'm going to make them believe because anything is possible i've seen rich men with ugly women it doesn't matter you know they might be a freak in the bed who knows all i'm saying is if they have that confidence and those standards about them they're not going to let somebody use them and trash them out just because they don't they're not a perfect 10 they're still going to have value okay and you're not going to men aren't going to be easily able to talk them out of sex or treat them like uh, a dog just because they don't look a certain way. These women are still going to have standards and you're still going to have to work for a woman who's not above average looking. You're still going to have to work for her. Why? Because women should feel good about themselves and they shouldn't let men dog them no matter how they look, okay? Because you can see a man transform into the most beautiful woman on, in the world. That woman, no matter how ugly she is, if she got a hold to some makeup and some wigs and some in the right outfit, she could be beautiful in, in, in one hour, two hours tops, okay? So don't ever underestimate an ugly woman. Y'all have seen those pictures on Facebook where the transformation takes place from this type of woman to full makeup looking like Barbie, okay? We've seen that. And I know men are going to say, well, when that all comes up, y'all... When that all comes off, it, it, you're ugly underneath. When y'all in the club, y'all are looking at, you know, what's on the outside. You're not looking for what's in the inside. You will take that girl home with a ton of makeup on her face and you won't care. Okay? You will get that type of girl pregnant and you're not, and you will say, hey, you're not even going to wonder about what she looks like under the makeup until, what, weeks later. Okay? Because you're not even thinking about it. You're going to be thinking with the other head. Okay, so don't ever let a man treat you wrong. If you're ugly, ladies, I suggest you go and get to the mat counter with quickness and at, tell them to make you look good. Tell them, like, look, I want to look like this. Go out one night with that mask and the wig on and see the type of attention you get and see how people treat you different. Okay? A lot of women are saying, well, you know, I don't believe in false everything. Well, just try it out as an experiment and see, okay? Because you'll understand, you know, it's not, they're not looking for what's inside. Mm -mm. A lot of men are looking for what's outside first, and then they worry about the inside later, okay? So, ladies, gentlemen, I hope this helped you. Um, like I said, you have to keep your standards high. Yes, women deserve the best treatment yes they deserve to have their meals paid for yes they deserve to be courted if you are a man and you're seeking the attention of a woman then yes you are going to have to put in work okay if you're a woman if you're a woman seeking the attention of a man you are going to have to put in work okay if you're not that type of woman then you know you understand you know women aren't supposed to chase men okay it's supposed to be the other way around so if you're a woman chasing men I suggest kind of easing out of that 
and letting them start to chase you because you know if a man wants you he's going to come after you no matter what all right i'm gonna see y'all later